Incredible flight to Kepler, the Earth's twin. The star that this planet orbits is quite similar to the Sun, hence it is highly likely that this planet contains water and possibly even life. Kepler 452b was the first planet of a size comparable to Earth identified in the habitable zone of its star. Will the human race eventually call this planet home? Let's investigate. The first planet the size of Earth was discovered in the habitable zone of a sun-like star in 2015, according to NASA's Kepler mission. This was given the designation Kepler 452b. The Kepler Exoplanet Explorer Space Telescope found a planet and a star that closely resemble Earth and our Sun in the year of the 20th anniversary of the discovery that revealed additional Sun's house planets. This amazing outcome moves us one step closer to discovering a planet 2.0 where humans can coexist. Kepler 452b is a super-Earth-type planet with a diameter that is 60% greater than that of Earth. Planets the size of Kepler 452b have a reasonable likelihood of being rocky, although their mass and composition have not yet been identified. Although being larger than Earth, Kepler 452b's 385-day orbit around its star is only 5% longer than that of our planet. The planet's distance from its parent star is 5% greater than Earth's distance from the Sun. The planet Kepler 452b orbits the Kepler 452 star, which is around 6 billion years old, 1.5 billion years older than our Sun, the same temperature, 20% brighter, and 10% larger in diameter. Kepler 452b can be viewed as an older and larger relative of Earth, offering us the chance to comprehend and consider how Earth's environment has changed through time. Given that the first life only appeared on Earth a few million years ago, it is remarkable that this planet has spent 6 billion years in the star's habitable zone. The likelihood of there being life on this planet is extremely high if all the elements and conditions required for life similar to that on Earth exist there. The team made ground-based observations at the University of Texas McDonald Observatory in Austin, the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory in M.T. Hopkins, Arizona, and the W.M. Keck Observatory atop Mauna Kea in Hawaii to help confirm the discovery and better understand the characteristics of the Kepler 452 system. These data were necessary to establish Kepler 452b's planetary status, improve the size and brightness of its host star, and more accurately identify the planet's size and orbit. Although the Kepler 452 system is 1,400 light years from Earth in the constellation Cygnus, it is the nearest star system to our own that has been discovered thus far. The number of additional exoplanet candidates discovered by the Kepler team from their analysis of observations made between May 2009 and May 2013 has increased, along with the confirmation of Kepler 452b, bringing the total number of planet candidates discovered by the Kepler mission to 4,696. To confirm that the other contenders are genuine planets, observations and further investigation are necessary. 12 of the new planet candidates orbit in their star's habitable zone and have sizes ranging from one to twice that of Earth. Nine of these orbiting stars are comparable to our Sun in terms of size and temperature. As of now, we have completely automated the process of selecting planet candidates, making it possible to swiftly and consistently assess each transit signal found in the Kepler dataset. Astronomers can now correctly estimate the number of minor planets, presumably rocky Earth-like planets, in our galaxy, the Milky Way, thanks to this statistically robust population of planet candidates. The Irrationality of Normal Astronomers were interested in the discovery of a huge number of compact multiple planetary systems made by the Kepler Satellite Telescope during its mission. The majority of people believe that the other solar systems in the galaxy should be identical to our own before Kepler's launch, yet this couldn't be further from the truth. Before the Kepler's launch, we knew very little about star systems. 
Nobody foresaw the discovery of a system with five planets, the most of which are in orbits more elliptical than those of Mercury, and whose outermost planet falls within the orbit of Venus. This is the Kepler-11 star system, or the exoplanet Kepler-186f, which was discovered on April 2014 and has a terrestrial radius of 1.2 and is located in the habitable zone of a tiny star that is only half as massive as the Sun. All of the planets in that system, even the farthest one, Kepler-186f, orbit the Sun closer than Mercury does. The sheer number of planets in such star systems, particularly those crammed into small areas, was astounding. Everything suggests that planetary systems are something that nature enjoys creating and that these planetary systems contain processes that drive the planets to migrate inward. Since many of these systems are dynamically packaged and coupled, other systems are affected by their orbits. In contrast, our solar system appears peculiar in that the planets are dispersed widely. As a result, it is challenging to find every planet in a system like ours. It would require the fortunate alignment of all orbits, which would take several years. So, we need to comprehend where our solar system is in relation to everything else. Although it seems typical to us, our solar system is odd compared to other solar systems in the cosmos. Because our solar system is so uncommon, none of the methods we know for finding planets would enable us to very safely find other solar systems that are exactly like ours. Could Kepler 452b be the future home of humanity? As a result of the Kepler mission and whatever ecosystem that the far-off world might have, Kepler 452b may serve as a symbol of the expedition's conclusion in a number of different ways. The planet's host star is thought to be 1.5 billion years older than our sun, and it receives 10% more illumination from the universe than Earth does. This could imply that Kepler 452b is an old world that progressively perishes, once thriving alive, but now withers beneath the powerful light of its star because sun-like stars steadily grow in brightness as they get older. The globe would be on the verge of a runaway greenhouse effect, with gravity too weak to stop life-giving water from boiling due to increasing surface temperatures. If the planet just has one land mass, any life there may be nearing its end. A similar occurrence to what occurs in our sidereal neighbor Venus is located on this planet, and due to its sulfuric acid clouds and dense carbon dioxide atmosphere, its surface temperature never falls below 847 degrees Fahrenheit 453 degrees Celsius. This results in a persistent greenhouse effect that traps heat and permanently warms the globe. Kepler 452b is most likely approximately five times as large as Earth, according to astronomer Douglas Caldwell of the SETI project, giving it enough gravity to retain its water and support a thriving biosphere. According to Caldwell, the planet could have a thick atmosphere and a lot of water either in the atmosphere, in the oceans, or both. We think there would likely still be volcanism and a high likelihood of the emergence of life given the greater size and the slower core cooling. All of that put together would extend the lifespan of any strong biosphere on the globe by 500 million years, or roughly the same amount of time as our planet may have before the sun starts to die and the oceans start to go. These are all just assumptions based on the information we currently have. Kepler 452b is the most Earth-like planet we have discovered so far, and it is worth studying because, by understanding this world better, we will be able to better predict what will happen to the Earth in the future. However, astronomers remain skeptics, it is not possible to claim or deny that there is life in Kepler 452b or that this may be the future home of humanity. Do you believe that Kepler 452b might contain both water and life? Comment on this video and share your thoughts with us.